Hey, this is Kev from Blender Bits. In this video, we're going to go over the subdivision surface modifier. It's a very basic introduction to something really, really cool that's going to help your modeling. If you don't know what I'm talking about yet or subdivision sounds scary, don't worry. We're going to go over this and you're going to understand what it is as soon as we're done. All right, let's go. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to go over here and create a cube. Now, when we were extruding these things in the last video, okay, and if you haven't watched that video, I, I recommend just going and watching that. But if you're up to speed on Blender, or you're, you're, you kind of know what I'm talking about, you can follow along. So what I want to do here is I want to go over here to this wrench key, okay, and I want to click on that, and it says Add Modifier. Now, when you click on this, you get all these different modifiers, okay? Don't worry about these. All we're going to worry about right now is the one called Subdivision Surface, okay? It's in the second row from the left, third from the bottom. Click on that, and you see that your cube here turns into this nice little kind of round shape. If we go over here to View, and we use this little arrow, we can go up and down, and walk it up or walk it down. What this is doing is it's taking your original cube at zero, which means it's off, and it is subdividing it. Okay, very similar to when we went over to the tools area here and we, we saw subdivide in the last video. Okay, but this is better because it allows you to kind of non-destructively work with this, this shape. So what this is, if we hit tab, you'll see that you have the original cube. Okay. So this is the original cube, and all this thing is doing, this modifier here, is modifying the cube, and it's just subdividing it with keeping the original shape intact. So if I were to go here and start loop cutting and dividing, okay, so if I go to Tools and I go to Loop Cut and Slide, all right, you can see all I'm doing is I'm just adding more geometry, okay? This is still the same cube, it's just added more geometry so you get these nice little kind of tightening edges okay so if I'll do it again okay loop cut and slide okay loop cut and slide control R loop cut and slide you see that I'm making a really cool shape but I'm still able to just edit the original cube See, I'm still on the original cube. It's just, I'm just changing the view. And I wouldn't go higher than, say, four or five or six, because your computer will start slowing down. But this is pretty good. Okay. And you see, if I control tab and I select um, vertex, you can see what's really cool about this is it kind of turns this into digital clay. I grab, I push, I pull. Okay, I'm getting clay. If I select a face, all right, boom. Kind of turning this into this really cool little uh, mess, blob. But the coolest part is that this really allows you to go in and start smoothing your object and kind of working with kind of, yeah, it's digital clay. Now what's really cool about this, if I tab out of here, okay, or I hit A and I tab out, and I just hit delete, hit OK. If you look at, let's say I create um, Suzanne, the monkey, okay? She's pretty squared off. Now, I could make her look nice and smooth by cheating and going here under tools and hitting smooth, okay, and that kind of makes her look a little smooth. It's cheat. Okay, it's just kind of smoothing what's called the normals. Um, video games use this a lot to kind of cheat. Or I could go add the modifier, subdivision surface, and actually subdivide her. Okay, this adds more geometry. It makes your file bigger, but it smooths her out pretty nicely. And the nice thing is, see, so you can hit flat, and you'll see. Even if I hit flat or smooth. You can barely see a difference at, at the view set to four. Okay, if I go to view set to three or two, you can start seeing the smoothness coming the smoothness going away here from flat to smooth. Okay. 
but you actually are giving her more geometry. And if I hit tab on her, you'll see I'm still working with the same Suzanne. It's just she's subdivided now. Okay, so that's a very, very basic introduction to the subdivision tool. And it, it gets a lot more complicated as you start going. Not scary complicated, but complicated in the, in, in the, in the way you work. And there's really, really cool things you can do with this. So that's about all for this video. Like every other video, I suggest going and playing with this and, and uh, you know watch this video a few more times, kind of get the idea, go in and play with it and start understanding what this thing does. In future videos, we'll actually start building objects using this stuff and then I'll show you how I work and hopefully you can see how to use this tool really well. Okay? Again, if you got something out of this video, like it, subscribe, and I'll make more videos. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.